is it hard to get one? No, you just got to take a test. Just like a driver's license kind of? I mean, you don't have to operate a boat or anything. It's all just classroom. And then you have to... You got to prove so many hours that you've been on a boat. And once you have it, you got to pay like a fee every year for it or something? No, you got to renew it every five years. You got to be on a random drug testing program. You got to be a CPR first aid certified. Double man. Double Just to see if there's anything. 
I can't imagine. I mean, if something trapped overnight here, then there, it's, there's crabs. I'm bringing all another 250 down for a I've seen a couple crabs, I'd be ecstatic. As soon as we get past this thing. big issue so the fresher areas and the whatever the, I don't know what the composition of the water is just to make up get that good yellow mustard that really makes your crabs taste good. The other thing too is how we cook them. We steam our crabs we don't boil them or although I've had good boiled crabs before but it ain't like steam crabs. As a crabber how often do you actually eat steam crabs? A handful of times a year, three, four, five times a year, buys all. Like once every other year. <laughs> yeah, come on now. Maybe once or twice a year. <laughs> and I see crabs every day, so I don't really. Somebody else catch them, maybe good crab. And if we caught them again, it'd be neat, you know what I mean? So learn how to drive with this new motor. It doesn't idle quite as high as my old motor. So when I like the old motor, I put it in gear, it would like, I don't know if you remember that, it would like throw you back, you know what I mean? It had a lot more torque.
first pots of the year. Woo!